Zelensky, and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of A Moment of Truth. Today's episode is entitled Tooth, the Whole Tooth, and Nothing But the Tooth. We will be discussing a popular myth about George Washington's wooden teeth. On my left, would you like to introduce yourself, Bruce? What? Bruce, would you like to tell us your opinion? My point of view on, on this question is very simple, but it is substantial from all kinds of um, from books I read in the library that said George Washington had teeth, but the teeth were wood. Um, I have another wonderful guest, um, and her name is Miss um, Tisha Washington. Hi, Joseph. Uh, everyone. Keisha, would you please tell our audience what you think about George Washington's teeth? Uh, his, his teeth all fell out, and, and he had no teeth. Uh, okay, Bruce, I understand you have some George Washington images you'd like to show us. See here, um, <coughs> you found a series of pictures of uh, President George Washington. Well, there is small. Well, here, look, if you put them closer to your face, then they look larger. That's a very good point. Rest my case. Hey, Bruce, don't look like his mouth's open. Um, hey. his mouth is closed because he... Show me the wood. Uh, where is the wood, Bruce? I ain't seen it. You see it? This one? No, I Hi, don't. Joseph. You see it? Well, what type of wood do they, you think that George Washington's teeth were made of? Well, during the war, as the fighting occurred, the much was asunder when the, the wood, the wood it was a special um, form of dark maple. That's good. Two months ago, my brother Gary and I, we found a box of 200 toothpicks. And he said, Tisha, I dare you to put 100 toothpicks in your mouth. So I did. Well, I mean, I put like 92 in my mouth. So it was like I had wooden teeth, but not really. Uh. George Washington was not very healthy, was he? He'd he been real sick when he was 17 years old. He had malaria. When he was 19, he had smallpox. When he was 19, he had tuberculosis also. When he was 30, he had malaria. 33, he had dysentery. When he, he was 35, he had dysentery. I'm, I ain't done. When he was 35, he had tuberculosis. When he was 39, he had dysentery. When he was Forty seven he had Quincy when he was two he had malaria when he was fifty seven he had carbuncle when he was fifty eight he had pneumonia when he was fifty nine he had carbuncle when he was sixty six he had malaria when he was seven sixty seven he had epiglottitis and then he died. If either of you were gonna have tea made from a hippopotamus or a cow or a donkey would, uh, which one would you rather, what, what kind of animal would you rather have it from? Donkey? Tisha? Uh, goat? Goat. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank my two uh, wonderful guests, uh, Tisha Washington. Hi, Joseph. Thank you very much. It's been an honor and a pleasure. Oh, thank you, Tisha. And my mm -hmm. other guest, Bruce. Mm -hmm. um, um, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Well, thank you. And have a pleasant evening. Thank you. Bye. Bye.